Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. In today's video, I'm finally going to be doing another Trash with Ash. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. So, if you don't know what this series is, it's pretty much where I show a few of my pretty much least favorite products in one video and give my explanation why I don't like them. So today I have five products to show you and um, one of them I actually ran out of, which is like kind of weird, but then I threw it away. <laughs> so I don't have it to show you, but I will definitely make sure to mention it. But just a disclaimer before we get started, I'm not meaning to like bash on the brands. And if you guys like these products, that's completely fine because I feel like at one point I did like them, but now I just kind of don't. So, I mean, it's fine if you like them. It's just personally, they didn't work for me and I just don't really like them anymore. So yeah. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the thing that I don't have with me. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. It's in like the white tube with like the black cap. The reason why I don't like it is because once I like rubbed it in um, and it like set while I did my eyebrows, it would just like leave white spots on my face where like it looked like the primer didn't rub in, but it's like dried. At one point that was my favorite primer, but I feel like I might have had it too long and it started to do that. But I didn't recognize it before, but it is a good primer, just the last couple of uses I used it, it did not work for me. The next thing I have is the Essence Color Correcting Stick. This is the yellow one for like dark circles. They have a lot of other ones and I haven't tried them out so I can only speak for this one. But this one, in my opinion, pretty much does nothing um, but make my concealer crease. So... I put it on and I usually have to blend it in with my finger because it just blends away with a beauty blender or a brush. And also mine, when I use it, it's really wiggly and it just comes right out. So I finally just had to like smush it back in. Then once I blend it out, it just settles into the lines under my eyes, which after I put the concealer on, it does not mix. It just makes my concealer crease so badly. For that reason, I do not like this and I really almost never reach for it. The next thing I really, really wanted to like, I was really excited when I got it. Um, when I was walking out of Target, it was in like the little bin where they have like kind of sample size stuff. If you know what I'm talking about, like at the end of the aisle. Well, anyways, I picked this up and it's the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam. And the reason why I don't like it is because it's super glittery, which I'm not into a glittery highlight. And when I swatch it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like pretty blinding. But when it goes on my face, even if I don't wait that long to blend it in, it won't blend and it just settle, settles on my skin. And if I put it over top of like a foundation to make a like liquid highlighter, it rubs off all the foundation underneath and I have to end up taking my makeup off and redoing my face makeup. So that really sucks and that, again, that's why I just don't like it. The next thing is the NYX White Liquid Liner. Now this I've used many times and I will still continue to use it because in a way I like it because it's the only liquid white eyeliner I own. So if you have any recommendations, leave a comment below. But this one, it's pigmented, it's nice. Once it dries, it just crusts so badly and I hate that word, but it just will just flake right off. So I don't know if you can see, but it's a nice liquid liner, but again, it just dries and flakes off and it's so gross. I've been wearing it a lot to basketball games to draw like numbers on my face, you know, supporting the team. And it just, it it's so bad by the end of it. It's practically off. Like my friend, she was just rubbing her face and it would just flake right off. It was not good. And the last thing, I feel like this has gone by really fast, but the next thing is the Cover FX Contour Kit. And this is the medium one. <laughs> uh, I got this for Christmas maybe two years ago which is kind of a long time to keep makeup but like it's still nice quality but I don't like the colors in here and they don't work for my skin tone so here's what they look like there's a highlighter a concealer and then two contour type bronzy colors and they're fine like I don't have a problem with the pigmentation but they again they don't work for my skin tone and they end up looking like mud on my face and I'm just not a fan of cream contours or cream highlighters or cream like concealers like these I just don't like them and that's why I don't like it I don't even know if I've ever even used this on my channel so I don't even know if you guys knew I had this unless you have watched my makeup collection okay, so kind of an update on the white eyeliner I don't know if this is focused but you can tell it's like cracking 
So that was the end of this video. If you guys are wondering why I still have these in my collection, it's because I still use all of the makeup I have. I won't just throw it away because it's not the best. Like, I, I still use it and I will still get my use out of it. It's just not what I reach for and it's not in my favorites category, if that makes sense. And again, if you love any of these products, I'm not trying to tell you to not use them. Like, I, st I will still continue to use them. They're, again, just didn't work for me, but they may work for you. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will probably be doing a monthly favorites video really soon. I'm really not sure because I do have a lot of favorites that I've had recently. So if you would like to see that, make sure to leave a comment below or I may do like a poll. It's either up there or up there. I think it's right there. Um, also, make sure to subscribe if you would like. I am really close to reaching 3.5k and I honestly can't even believe it. Like I never thought I'd even get to 100. So this is crazy to me that I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. But yeah, that's finally the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'll never stop